All right, so this is the biggest update for mobile gaming that I have seen. And yes, Game Hub is taking the dub on this one. Like, this is crazy. Full Steam support. You don't have to download Steam. You don't have to do all the extra bells and whistles and tricks to make it work. It just works. It works inside of Game Hub now. Like, no, for real. If you want the patch version, I have it here. I have the patch version i have the PUBG version in case your phone does frame generation and i have the regular version uh if you're a rooter you can use the regular version if not i highly recommend at least downloading the patch version i have it in the discord inside of uh the link here in the description i will have it here but i'm going to show you how simple this is to install steam games and play them with cloud support and um, online gameplay and everything. It's, it's all, it all works. It just works. It's amazing. So this, this isn't the magic fix for anti-cheat. Uh, so games that have anti-cheat systems, it's still not going to be compatible with some protons and things like that, but games work. And I'm going to show you two games back to back here working inside Steam or well, inside Game Hub inside of Steam technically with cloud support and how it works. So we're going to go ahead and download Dinkum. This is the full video here. I'm not cutting everything out. You're going to see it how I set it up, how it works, and it's it's just great. So if you've made it this far in this video, you're definitely interested. Hit that subscribe button because as new things drop, I will try I will try my best to get a video out showing how it works uh updating you guys with information on it and everything so don't miss any of my videos hit that like comment below let let youtube know that you know this video is helping you and you're interested in it so it helps someone else so if someone else finds it you're helping other people discover this channel and you know let them get their game on so anyway this game's almost done downloading so i hope you guys enjoy All right, so I'm gonna slow this part down here for you guys. That way you can go through and see all the settings that I use. Yes, I always have to change my language just because I have an Indian ROM on my phone. I'm rooted. Um, I do ultra wide settings here, so that fits my phone. Um, it's pretty interesting. They have enhance, a enhanced plugin running. I'm not quite 100% sure how that works just yet, but you know, that's pretty interesting. Um, I installed the latest system drivers on my phone, so I'm just going to use system drivers there. And I'm going to go up here and select the latest ARM64 EC Async. Uh, for this game, you don't have to have this, so I'm going to select none. Um, this is the latest FX Core. That's cool. They have the Steam Client up there that you can ch click as well. You can select the client or lightweight. Turn on Auto Sync Clouds. And they also have a Steam Network Acceleration in case you're in an area that does not have great Steam Network service. So that's pretty cool. Um, just clicking through here, let's enable that. So I have my touch controls without having to swipe to the side and get them. And let's go ahead and launch the game and see what happens. All right, so that is new. It's showing it's connecting to Steam, initializing, logging in, and syncing the light library, dependencies. That's pretty cool. It's it's handling everything for you. And it's syncing the cloud saves. That's pretty awesome. That's great.
All right, now that I'm in the game, it's running really well. No real issues. This is my online Steam Cloud Sync version of Dinkum. So it did sync it properly. It is working. So that is awesome. Very impressed. All right, now that we did Dinkum, let's try Among Us. This is another cloud sync that's going to have, you know, my previously uh, played game on here. Just to show, you know, it's not just one game that works, it's multiple. And this is a quick, easy one that you can see me downloading, installing, and launching within one video. So let's try Among Us out here and see how well this works. All right, and just like Dinkum, I'm going to go through the settings here, and I'm going to manually select everything that I want in this game to make it run the way I want it. So, as you can see, here's all the settings here. I'm going to scroll through, select my system driver. Because I am on the 800.51, I, I personally flashed, which, if you're rooted, you can do the same thing. And I'll have that file as well available inside of Discord. And I'm going to select Steam Client here and show you can select either the lightweight or the full um, version there. But let's go ahead and launch Among Us and check this new little loading screen out. There it is. Launching client. It's already connecting to Steam. That's pretty awesome how fast this works. <clears throat> Previously, it took a while to get in Steam and it was sluggish. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now, please hit that subscribe button. You help this channel out and you help other people discover us. So definitely... Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment below what you guys think of this video. All right, I'm not going to actually play the game. I'll just show you that it works. But if you get the patch version, this is how you're going to access it in your file manager. You can select other storage, but where I'm rooted, I'm not actually running the patch version. I just go directly to the folder. And this is what you're going to see when you're there. You can actually go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you'll see the games that you downloaded there. Um, there's also, you can go to... Um, the components so I'm gonna show you how to get the components as well from there so this is the directory you're gonna be in if you're rooted if not you're gonna just go to the other other storage and select game hub and then you'll be right here from files you'll go to user home 
components and then you'll see all the components this is everything that it downloads that it might be using so you're gonna have your DXVKs your GPU drivers and everything in here that you will have access to using the patched version of game hub but anyway if this video has helped you please consider subscribing hit that like button and you know drop a comment let me know what you guys think you know thanks for watching